now. Rugby Museum. Oh, it's an experience. The International Rugby Experience. It says it right there, man. Yeah, experience the museum. No, experience rugby. Experience rugby. Yeah, no, same thing. Well, we're here today at the National Rugby Experience to soak up all the knowledge that we can about international rugby, not just Irish rugby, all of the nationalities. 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 There's loads of things happening here about rugby, like in, you walk in and then you leave, and then you know everything, so. Mm. If our heads are big, empty buckets, we just want to fill it up Which they with, are. With, we just want to fill that bucket up with knowledge, really. How's it going, guys? Right. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? I'm Joe. Dara. Dara. So what we have here is a few different rugby skills for you to try out. Okay. So over try here on my left, we've a bit of kicking to try out with Johnny Wilkinson. We've strength and technique with Tiger Furlong, running with Keith Earls, and we pass with Vafta Clerk. You're saying these names yeah. like we know who they are. After we do the skills, we'll come back here. I'll pick a position for you out on the pitch. Hopefully, it doesn't give you both subs, but... Does it involve running? Small bit, yeah. I'm out. Right, so guys, we're going to start off so with a bit of kicking. It's going to be a big circle with a little plus in it. You're going to kick the ball out of your hands and try and hit the targets. It's a big screen. Target will be small, though. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, it won't be that big, though. I'd love, get... to, I'd love to watch a film on that. Can you get the RTE player on that? The first thing they had us do was a kicking challenge. So you take a rugby ball and you <laughs> kick it. And that's the that's what that's what the, the kicking challenge was. So guys, what you want to do is just want to hold the ball out straight in front of you. I can do that. Just going to drop the ball and kick and hit the targets like that. Jeez, that was a bit wayward now. Nice. That was. How was that? You're supposed to hit the targets. We were both pretty crap. Yeah. There was one point where I missed the ball completely. I think we're losing a bit of hope. It's the shape of the it ball. It can bounce any way. What are you doing? I'm looking up different rugby kicks and I'm going to see if Dara really knows the stuff. What's a punt? Hey, you'll just have the ball straight on and you'll just punt it down the field. Straight kick. I would have called that a hoof. But that kind of works too. Yeah, I think it's better. Hoof it. What's a spiral kick? Kind of similar to a punt, except you're going to hit the ball with the outside of your boots and the ball is actually going to spiral. What is... <sighs> Up and under slash bomb slash Gary Owen. You'll basically kick the ball as high as you can, high enough so that your team can go and try and catch the ball. What's a grubber kick? A grubber kick so this is where you kick the ball along the ground and it'll like bounce up. It requires less skill. You'd be good at that one. You could do a grubber kick. And what's a box kick? So it's when a kicker, almost always the scrum half, picks up the ball from the base of the rough and puts it high in the air. You don't need to the move, flying by the team. The next thing we did was a jumping challenge and pushing a prowler. Right. Oh no, that was... That oh, was that weaker? Yeah, yeah it's, off you go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Not great. It was a tricky one, because you had to jump and push a prowler. And off you go. Get out, really get out! Get out! Yeah! Yeah! And take a break. <sighs> it just gives you a new level of respect for the sport entirely. Well, I'm gonna give this a good one. And off you go, hit it. Come on, the prowler! Hit it! Push! Push! See, if it wasn't screwed down, I'd send that through that window. I mean, the prowler doesn't even move. Screwed into the ground. Bolted. Out of glass, yeah. And he's like a Tasmanian devil. Driver. What do you want a screwdriver no. for? Do it properly. Don't be unscrewing there. Why'd you give him a screwdriver? It's a key. Don't ever give Darren a screwdriver. It's only, ever. It's only a key. He's not allowed to have sharp things. Uh, the last thing of the day was my favourite, uh, the ag agility test. Oh, yeah. That yeah. was good, wasn't it? Yeah. The hood? The one where you had to catch all the lights. Well, that's not how, that's not what you, you don't. That's not what you're supposed to do. You're messing. It's not. You're, 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 you're supposed telling to avoid, me. You're literally supposed to do the opposite thing. What you're how doing. can you put lights in a room like that and not want to catch them? You have to fight that impulse and go around them. So you're supposed to sidestep them like uh, a rugby player, go and sidestep them like you know. Yeah, and catch them. No, not catch them. Not, not catch them. You're not supposed to catch them. What? You could sidestep the same time. You didn't even catch one. You were rolling on the ground. Because I was trying to catch them, two up my feet and two up my hands. It was good. I, I enjoyed it. Loads of info. Loads of touchable screens. Right, so guys, after all our skills done now, we're going to pick out our positions on the pitch, OK? These machines are going to help us to do this. Joe, we'll get you scanned in on this machine. And Darren, we'll get you scanned in on this machine. Prop. OK. A loose head prop. Yeah. Sounds very insulting. 
but I'll take it. What's that all about? Lazy. Sheen doesn't lie. But that's not even a position. It's pretty accurate, though. I think it's very accurate. Darren and Joe's rugby bandwagon, streaming now on RTE Player.